Welcome back to the tea of the day. Today I've got a nice fresh blend of oregano, sage, and a little bit of the cinnamon basil. Hmm. All right, all right. Now I didn't steep this very long because it has the sage and the oregano, but I didn't use much of the sage and the oregano um, generally I like to stick around five to seven minutes with it at the longest but it's not quite as bad as the sage or like the rosemary where I can only go three to five minutes so I went five minutes with this and uh, it's very light it's very very light and for me I like mine a little bit stronger so I tend to go longer on the steeping time so remember that's why I give like a range is because you want to have um, steeping time that fits the type of tea you like. If you like a lighter tea, then you want a shorter steeping time, obviously. If you want something that's more meaty, mm, that's, then you're going to definitely need to brew it a lot longer. I mean, there's teas you can go 10 minutes on if you really want to make it strong. I mean, usually when you, you know, they say you're, like, you're going to make an iced tea, you tend to make the brewing times on twice as long as you would for a hot tea. So, you just keep that in mind too, you know. Um, Overall, as far as the taste is concerned, it's it's still very good. I, I like this combination. The three work good together. Um, the sage, I didn't use, ver like I said, didn't use very much of it, but it's a nice complement to the oregano and uh, the cinnamon basil. Um, as it was intended with this mint, it was I intended it just to be a nice accent to, to it. So um, it takes away some of the edge of the other two, which can be very strong. What was that noise? Aha! Hidden white phone! <laughs> so yeah, what I meant to do with the cinnamon basil part is I meant for it to be an accent flavor for the other two. And what it really does is it helps in a way smooth out the other two. So the flavor really is um, balanced out and the, which you can get is a little bit of that harshy woodiness or which, you know, uh, bitter bitterness if you blew, brew them too long which I'm trying to say trying to brew them too long if you do that with the sage or the oregano or the rosemary they can get very bitter on you so that's why you have to be careful with the brew times on some of these um, in that you really have to experiment to find your best brew time um, but with sage if you're doing a straight sage tea if you're doing a straight rosemary tea you definitely don't want to go longer than five minutes because they will get bitter on you bar none um, the oregano can be pushed a little bit longer, the thyme can be pushed a little bit longer, but the other ones uh, that tend to be the lighter ones um, can go even longer than that. I mean, any of the flower ones can go longer than that. And many of my uh, the other general herbs, the mints, I, I think can all go longer than that. And of course, I like them stronger, so I always will go a little bit longer on a mint than most people will. Um, but yeah, that's my little ramblings on brew times. So I'm gonna do like a full, overall video really soon on um, just a breakdown on general brew times for you and I'll give you like a some fun graphics and stuff too to go with it so to, just to give you some more clarification on what you do with brew times for fun yeah but as far as this one's concerned it's a nice mix if you have these three try it out very good love it have a nice tea day